Hello everyone, TNT Tomlinson here today, and today I'll be talking guys about Adonis Stevenson. Now, the reason I picked Adonis Stevenson was because I met him back in 2018, he was just such a nice guy, I saw him fight, he, he looked amazing, and it was just a great experience for me, and I did more research on him and found out how great of a fighter he was, and today I want to share a bit of it with you in a little documentary I'm making. Stevenson Adonis, better known as Adonis Stevenson, is a Haitian-Canadian former professional boxer who boxed from 2006 to 2018. In his career, he held the WBC and lineal heavyweight titles from 2013 to 2018, and previously held the Ring Magazine light heavyweight title from 2013 to 2015. He was known for his fast hand speed and exceptional knockout power. During his prime, Stevenson was considered one of the hardest punchers. His Elias was Superman. He was also a southpaw. He was born on September 22, 1977, in Port-au-Prince, Haiti. His name happens to be a reversal of both his family and given name. When he was 7 years old, Adonis moved with his family to Montreal, Quebec, Canada. By the time Adonis was 14, he was living on the streets and was a member of a violent gang. As a result of his association with the gang, he got involved with a lot of criminal activity. In 1998, when Adonis was in his 20s, he was sentenced to a four-year prison term following a criminal trial which took place in Quebec. He was charged on account of managing prostitutes, assault, and making threats. He served 18 months of his four-year sentence. While in prison, Adonis pled guilty to aggravated assault after putting an inmate in a coma. He assaulted an inmate when the inmate was in a coma. Adonis left prison in 2001 and vowed that he would never come back. Three years later, Stevenson was the amateur Quebec middleweight champion in 2004, and in 2005 and 2006, he was named the best amateur fighter in Canada. Stevenson also won the Canadian national title in 2005 and 2006. Stevenson competed the 17th Commonwealth Games in Melbourne, Australia in 2006, and won the silver medal, losing to an Australian in the finals. Stevenson was the only Canadian in the Games to receive a medal that year. On September the 30th, 2006, at Montreal Casino, located in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Adonis had his first professional fight as a super middleweight against Mike Funk. Adonis knocked Funk out with a hook 22 seconds into the first round. At this time, Adonis was 29 years old. By 2008, Adonis had a master record of 10 wins of 7 wins coming via knockout. On April the 5th, 2008, Adonis fought for the vacant WBC Continental America Super Middleweight title against the first Smith at Montreal Casino. Stevenson sent Smith down twice in the fourth round of body punches and twice more at the beginning of the fifth round. By then, referee Michael Griffith had seen enough and stopped the fight. Adonis was declared the winner by technical knockout. On August 1st, 2008, Adonis defended his Continental America title for the first time against Anthony Bazante in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Adonis scored a knockdown with a straight left to the head early in the first round. This left his opponent motionless on the canvas for five seconds, with his eyes closed. At the count of six, referee Jerry Bolin has stopped the fight when Bazante suddenly was awake and alert. This started a shouting match between Bolin and Bazante, but Bolin kept his decision in the end. On September 25th, 2008, Adonis beat Jerem Mackey by technical knockout 20 seconds into the 5th round. This fight was for the vacant WBC International Super Middleweight title and held at the Bell Centre in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. On April 16, 2010, Adonis fought Darnell Boone at the Wickmo Civic Centre, Salisbury, Maryland, USA. This was Adonis' American debut. This was also his first time fighting for Lou DeBell. In the first round, Adonis twice sent Boone to the canvas. However, in the second round, Adonis made a mistake and rushed right to Boone without maintaining defense and got caught by a solid right, sending him to the canvas for the first time in his career. Adonis got to his feet before the count of 10. The referee, John Grabowski, had seen enough and stopped the fight. This would be the first time in his professional career that Adonis would lose a fight. But it would be eight years until Adonis would lose another fight. In his next five fights, he won by knockout or technical knockout. These wins came against Derek Edwards, Dion Savage, Aaron Pryor Jr., Jesus Gonzalez, and No Gonzalez Acoba. 
His fight against Jesus Gonzalez, however, was a was an IBF super middleweight title eliminator for the second spot in IBF ratings. In this fight, Adonis knocked out Gonzalez in the first round. After these five fights, Adonis had earned himself a fight with Donovan George in an IBF super middleweight title eliminator. The winner got a shot at the title. This fight took place at the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. In this fight, Adonis twice sent his opponent to the canvas in round 5, once in round 6, and twice more in round 12. After those two knockdowns in round 12, referee Marlon Wright decided that he'd seen enough and stopped the fight. Adonis was declared the winner by technical knockout. Adonis' next fight would be against Darnell Boone in a rematch at the Bell Center on March 22, 2013. This would be Adonis' first fight at light heavyweight. Taking this fight risked Adonis' IBF super middleweight mandatory status. In this fight, Adonis was loading up early, looking for revenge. He trapped Boone in the corner and attacked him with body shots in round 1. Adonis continued to pound Boone in round 2. At one point, Boone lost his balance and fell through the ropes. By the 6th round, Boone's eye was swollen badly. After an exchange in the corner where Boone was desperate and tried to use a rope-a-dope strategy, Stevenson took a step back Stevenson took a step back and caught Boone with an uppercut on the chin, followed by a straight left. This left Boone out cold on the canvas. Adonis was declared the winner by technical knockout. Now that Adonis had avenged his loss to Boone, it was time for the main reason that Adonis moved up to light heavyweight, to challenge Chad Dawson, and luckily, he got that fight. On June the 8th, 2013, Adonis Stevenson fought Chad Dawson for Dawson's WBC ring in the lineal light heavyweight titles at the Bell Center. Dawson was coming off a 10th round TKO loss to Andre Ward for the WBA and WBC super middleweight titles going into this fight. In this fight, Stevenson caught Dawson with a left hook and dropped him very early in the first round. And even though Dawson got up before the count of 8, referee Michael Griffin decided to stop this fight. This gave Stevenson a surprising early knockout victory. The Ring Magazine awarded this fight Knockout of the Year in 2014. At this time, Adonis was 35 years old. On September 28, 2013, Adonis made his first defense of his titles against Tavoris Cloud at the Bell Center. Tavoris was a former IBF light heavyweight champion who recently lost his title to Bernard Hopkins. In this fight, Adonis dominated for 7 rounds with his right jab to the head and body of Cloud. Cloud, however, was taunting Stevenson with his hands down for most of the fight. Cloud fell down twice, once from a missed punch and another time when Stevenson pushed him down. Cloud moved forward cautiously and tried to cut off the ring, but he only got hit. Cloud had no change in his game plan to deal with his beating. In round 7, Cloud had a cut appearing on his right eye. Cloud failed to answer the belt round 6. Adonis Stevenson was declared the winner by corner stoppage. On November the 30th, 2013, Adonis made the second defense of his titles against Tony Ballou at the Bell Center. In this fight, Ballou drew blood from Stevenson's nose early in the third round and took some punishing blows from the champion's left hand. In the fourth round, Stevenson went down, but referee Michael Griffin ruled it a slip. In the sixth round, Stevenson caught Ballou with a right to the ribs set up a left hand blow which knocked it down his opponent. Baloo beat the count but shortly after the fight was stopped by referee Michael Griffin. Adonis Stevenson was declared the winner by technical knockout, but this wasn't the end for Baloo. He would go on to become the WBC cruiserweight champion and star in the first Creed movie. On May 24, 2014, Adonis made the third defense of his titles against Andres Fonfora at the Bell Center. Fonfora was the was a former IBO light heavyweight champion. In this fight, Adonis started off well with two knockdowns with sharp lefts and looked close to stopping Fonfora. But Fonfora came back well and even dropped Adonis in the ninth round. However, Adonis, like Fonfora, recovered quickly and both fighters traded punches in a great 12th round. The crowd gave this fight a standing ovation. Stevenson won the fight by unanimous decision. On December the 19th of 2014, Adonis made the fourth defense of his title against Dmitry Sikotsky at the Pepsi Coliseum in Quebec City, Quebec, Canada. Sikotsky was a Russian contender on a four-fight win streak. In this fight, Adonis started slow, but in the fifth round, Adonis scored three knockdowns to win by knockout. This will be the first time in his career Sikotsky was knocked out. On April the 4th, 2015, Adonis made his fifth defense of his titles against Sakio Bika at the 
Pepsi Coliseum and Bika was the former WBC super middleweight champion. In this fight, Stevenson dominated the fight with his left hand while Bika failed to get much offense of his own. Stevenson knocked down Bika in rounds 6 and 9. The fight went the distance and all the judges scored the fight for Stevenson. On September the 11th, 2015, Adonis made his sixth defense of his titles against Tommy Carpency at Rico Coliseum in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Carpency beat Chad Dawson by split decision. The man Adonis won his titles from. In this fight, Carpency barely escaped second round and was immediately knocked down at the beginning of the third round. Referee Hector Afu stopped the fight and Adonis was declared the winner by TKO. In November 2015, the Ring Magazine stripped Adonis of his titles, citing the fact that Stevenson hadn't faced a top-ranked opponent in the last two years. On July 29, 2016, Adonis made the seventh defense of his titles against Thomas Williams Jr. at Center Videotron in Quebec City, Quebec, Canada. In this fight, Adonis connected with a hard left to his opponent's head, which knocked down Williams in the first round. Williams beat the count and the fight continued. In the fourth round, Adonis attacked Williams' body, which weakened his opponent. He landed a crushing left to his opponent's head, which knocked out Williams. On June 3, 2017, Adonis made the eighth defense of his titles against Andres Fonfora in a rematch at the Bell Center. Fonfora had big wins against Nathan Cleverly and Chad Dawson since they lost fought, while also getting knocked out in the first round against Joe Smith Jr. In this fight, Stevenson was patient with his left hand and eventually he knocked down Fonfora with a left hook to the head. Fonfora beat the account but was on steady legs. Thankfully for Fonfora, the bell saved him. Stevenson started the second round pummeling Fonfora with huge lefts. The fight came to an end when Fonfora's trainer stepped on to the apron motioning the referee Michael Griffin to stop the fight. Which he did. Stevenson was declared the winner by technical knockout. On May the 19th, 2018, Adonis made the ninth defense of his titles against Badu Jack at the Air Canada Centre in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Jack was the former unified super middleweight champion and the former WBA light regular light heavyweight champion. This fight got good in the fifth round. In the fifth round, Adonis landed a left uppercut followed by big hits to the body that seemed to hurt his opponent. In the sixth round, Adonis continued landing shots to the body while pushing Jack to the ropes, but Jack fought back resiliently, refusing to lose. In the seventh round, Jack landed a big combination which forced Adonis onto the back foot. Jack landed more big attacks while Adonis was tired and fatigued. In the ninth round, Jack landed a right hand that bloodied the nose of Adonis, then rocked Adonis with a big uppercut. In the 10th round, Stevenson and Jack went toe to toe. Jack was barely able to stay on his feet in the 11th round due to Adonis' early bodywork taking its toll. In the last round, both men traded on the inside. In the last few minutes of this fight, Jack had hurt Adonis, but thankfully for Adonis, the bell saved him. The judges scored the bout a majority draw. On December 1st, 2018, Adonis made the 10th defense of his titles against Alexander Gronskiewicz. Gronskiewicz was the interim WBC light heavyweight champion. In this fight, Adonis found home with his powerful left in the first couple of rounds. He also fainted and danced around the ring. In the third round, Gonsvidic scored a knockdown with his first punch of the round, but referee Michael Griffin called it a slip. Gonsvidic was able to get within range and land a right hand that was missing in the first two rounds. He also did a better job of blocking Stevenson's left, allowing him to stay in the pocket and counter. Stevenson started throwing shots to the body. He found gaps in his opponent's defenses and in the eighth round, Gronskiewicz ducked out of the way of Adonis' punches before setting back up and quickly firing a right to the head. In a 10th round, Stevenson landed a left that knocked his opponent down. Gronskiewicz beat the count and came back at the end with a 10-punch flurry that knocked down Stevenson. Referee Michael Griffin stopped the fight and Gronskiewicz was declared the winner by TKO. At the time of the stoppage, Adonis was ahead 98-92 and 96-94 on two of the judges' scorecards. If he stayed up, he would have won the fight. Aronis was 41 years old when this fight took place. The morning after the fight, Stevenson was in critical condition, in intensive care. By Monday, his condition was changed to stable from critical and was placed in an induced coma. On December 22nd, according to his girlfriend, Simone God, 
Stevenson had woken up. As of February 18, 2019, Stevenson moved to a medical facility in Montreal, Canada to continue receiving treatment related to his recovery. Stevenson is talking and moving and becoming more mobile every day and is on the road to recovery. We're rooting for you, champ. This is Dante Tomlinson, and that's what it is. And that's the story of Donna Stevenson. Have a great day.